What is going on guys, this is everyone from 92 here, in today's video I'll be doing a deck profile of my Despia that I did took this play, um, I did play this deck at the Vegas, um, YCS 3v3, that happened last week, and, yeah, I'll show you guys the deck, um, the main, the extra deck, not the side deck, cause I might be playing, um, for maybe a couple of events, but we'll see, this was actually a perfect choice, the deck is insanely good, so powerful. I think it's tier one. Um, the deck just has so much recursion, so many plays, and also um, just like so much um, advantage, just like getting cards after card, turn after turn. Um, but yeah, let's get started. I play four or five cards, so yeah. So I'm playing three Alibird. Um, really good. This is the key card that search your Brendan Fusion. Search any combo card that I mentioned Brendan as itself. That's self-explanatory. One kid. Uh, one kid was actually perfectly. Um, you just basically get your Brendan Fusion. Um, it's kind of like you have like nine or ten or in total. Uh, get Brendan Fusion. So it's actually really good. Plus it's special summon. Three Fallen Albas. Really nice, 3 OT. Sheesh! But, yeah, so this is actually really good. Just fuse your opponent against the cashier matchup. Nothing self-explanatory. I see people play 2. I feel like that's incorrect. Um, sure, you can, like, shuffle it. But, like, I always want to have a third one. Just in case against the cashier. Because cashier is super strong. That actually did win the YCS. But, yeah. And then 2, McCurry. Uh, again, 3 is a bit too much. Um, really good. Uh, it's kind of like basically effect failure. Um, you know, control of fusion. And then we got the uh, two Emperor Chain for the Super Poly. We got one copy Tragedy, one Adlibnitum, and one Cartesia. Uh, I don't think they're, um, I don't think they're in the rounds. I never ever need a second one, but. I can actually see people um, love this card because they play Fusion Deployment and also if they get Banish of their card from Cashier, like a rip from the top, then it is what it is, like oops, you know. And then uh, one copy of Sharon, one copy of the Albion, the Dragon, and one copy of each of the Bestial Labellion and Serenir. Uh, I know people are playing three of this, two of this, or one of this. I personally do have the copies, but I personally seem like it's a bit too bricky. I was worried about playing against the cashier matchup. Um, it is really good against like other decks, but like if you play against cashier, it's not the greatest. I know this is like a combo piece, but then again, um, it wasn't too much. It wasn't like less. It was just like perfect. If I draw, I draw it. Um, but yeah, usually I don't try not to go to the combo, like everyone else, like the Brandon Fusion with this. I'm not trying to do that combo. I'm just trying to take control and use advantage as much as possible. But yeah, and then main deck 3 Nibiru. Uh, I know self-explanatory. I feel like this is almost main deck in it. Um, I've seen a lot of decklist people play in a side deck. Again, I do respect it, but then again, uh, my goal is I try to win game 1. And then game two, if I lose, then game three, I can set up or just try to tool my opponent. Cause not that many people play around Nibiru. I do respect this card, and it is making a comeback since uh, it was not been being played as much since uh, uh, since Tear um, comes out. So Ash and also Nibiru are coming back. Um, but yeah, and then for the spells, we got three branded fusion. This card is one of the key cards. Um, no self-explanatory, but, yeah, super, super good. Um, yeah, you resolve, you basically win. If they ash, oops, you can do nothing. <laughs> then, three, Brandon opening. Really good card. Search your Albert, get two. Brandon fusion, get your, um, Brandon laws and whatever stuff you're missing, but, yeah. 3 alert darkness for consistency for draw power. Um, you can go for a McCurry play to banish it or the tragedy. Really good. See so your combo card. And plus, this deck can brick just in case you're playing Ash. You can uh, activate this, see your card, and then you can have a fall in play afterwards if they give you another turn. But yeah. Then 2 Pfeiffer package, and then the super, super poly. I think 2 2 2 standards. Uh, it used to be 3, 
back in the day, but, um, yeah. One brand new loss. This car's insanely good. Uh, there might be thing about coming up to two at least. Um, but I haven't tried to, but yeah. Um, this car's so good, so good. And then one brand in red. Um, I see people play two. I'm not quite sure if there's a time. Uh, I could play a second one, but a second one is actually not that bad. And I play one that's be a theater. Uh, I know this sounds kind of crazy. I just read the fact of. When a Despia monster leap by battle or car effect, I believe you can special summon. I kind of like the graveyard effect, and also you can like fuse. Um, I probably might be changing this uh, Brennan White. I can't find my bulk so, for some odd reason, but yeah. <laughs> and then one copy of Brennan Regained. Really good card. You just bring back your light or dark, put it at the bottom, draw one card. It also actually works on your opponent too, just in case not that many people know about that. One call by grief. I do respect Ash. Whoever told me not playing this card, I'm not gonna listen to you. I'm always gonna play this card because I do respect Ash. Any hand traps in general. If I draw the drawing, uh, one copy foolish. Send uh, share and play. It's actually pretty cool. This this list is literally exactly like pack list. Shouts to pack. But um, yeah, I I just kind of like it. So for you, you can like send tragedy. Send like so much stuff. And then, uh, three Book of Eclipse, really good. I do expect Cashier, I do respect it. The deck is super insane. Um, yeah, this, this card caught off people guard. Because people put in side deck, I don't know why. But, um, yeah, and then two traps. One, Brand Retribution, and one, um, what is this card? Branded Banishment, I did not know. Uh, this one confused your opponent card as well, but yeah, the total is 45 cards. I would probably not change it. I kind of like the way it is. Um, there's a variety. Some people build like 43, 40. Um, there's just so much stuff. I wouldn't mean the Ash, but it was just like way too hard to take out. But yeah, now for the extra deck. To Alibion. Um, I don't, I don't think three is necessary. Uh, one is not enough. Uh, two Mary Jade, really good. Uh, there were a time I could bring a third one up, but the extra deck is way too tight, to be honest. But, yeah, two Labellion. I know people playing one of this. Um, I felt like that's incorrect. I know you can, like, shuffle, but, like, if they rip this card, like, you can't do nothing. Um, you can't go your Mary Jade or your Alibion play. Um, you can go for, like, other play, but, like, I really want to go... One, like the Mary Jade, like the, the easy package, and plus this reshuffle as well. And then two copy Striking Dragon, really good against the cashier matchup. Um, if they have a Rise of Heart, you can go for um, this play because Rise of Heart is mandatory, so you can like bounce it back. Just in case you guys don't know, this is an option you can bounce if you want. Um, and plus, you can do a cool play with the Mary J with that, negate the Mary J, Mary J get negated, then you can like use the banish on your opponent's turn. And then one Dust Dragon. Uh, I never brought this guy up, but there will be time situation of Cartesia. And then we got one copy of Cordis, really good card over perform. Then one Mass Array, one Guardian Chimera, one Jigga Sapelia, one copy of Mud Dragon Swamp. So broken, so broken, and one copy of Garura. Um, yeah, that's the the deck. Um, I wouldn't probably change anything. Maybe like I would play the Glory Dragon to get the Cartesia, but um, that extra deck is so tight. I guess I still need to play um play test more. But yeah, that is my list. I would show you guys my side deck, but I'm currently want to keep that as a surprise. Um, uh. Maybe in the future, because there is a couple events. There's gonna be the YCS uh, LA 250. I might be playing this deck or the um, couple of regionals that are coming up as well. Um, before ending this video, I would like to give credit to my friend Isaac. Uh, if you're watching this, man, uh, thanks for letting me borrow this whole deck. Uh, mostly everything, um, all the cards is his. Um, there are some cards are mine, like Nibiru and Book of Clips. Um, but yeah. Then shout out to my teammate, uh, gave me these wonderful cross Um, I was looking for them, so many people didn't have them, people that had them, but they're not getting rid of it. This card is insane. I, I, I was thinking about main decking it, but who knows. 
Um, but yeah, um, a tournament report. Um, unfortunately, my team and I X3 dropped. We lost all three rounds. Uh, round one, we played against uh, Mitchell Martin and Gabe and Noah Bigelman, I believe that's his name, or Robert. I, I, I don't know, but they're really good. Um, really happy we played round one, but I did kind of misplay. Uh, I should have made the Chimera play. I had a Draco Superior, Mary Jane, and then a, um, what's that called? Mercurier. It wasn't enough. I thought it was enough. Two negates and interruption, but he was playing cashier tier element. He was playing super good. Maybe I didn't, like, hand trap the right card, but it is what it is. That's on me. And then round two and three, I carry, uh, my team, but it didn't matter. Um... I did play against LH, a 2-0 LH, and I 2-0 cashier. It was really good. Um, so, yeah, but in a day, it didn't matter that, um, unfortunately, my team uh, need to win one more. But it's okay, at least. I was trying to deck. I was been playing this deck for four to five days into the event, going blind. So, it was good. Thank you for everyone such as Sam, Thomas, Tyler, Ethan... Uh, do I forget anyone else? Shout out to my teammate again. Thank you for you guys. Um, message me last minute because I got a funny story. <laughs> I got dropped twice. Um, I was supposed to team up with my um, original team. I'm not going to say who. But uh, one of my teammates got sick. And then the other one bailed on me. Self-disappointment on that part. But it's okay. It is what it is. That's, that's part of life. And then I joined this other team. Really good... Um, players and then again i got a uh, drop last minute that his friend got into a car accident or something like that and then he just kind of bailed on me um I, that was like a horrible luck this year by far um but but then again yeah um hopefully i do top the regional coming up um and also for the la as well because this event i was desperate to really top or winning like more than anyone anyone else i know that sounds kind of crazy but, um, yeah, that's about it. You guys do watch the video all the way to the end. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notification for more videos. Let me know if you guys want I do a, um, a test hand or something like that. Or if you guys, um, let, let me know in the comments what card should I test out. I, I guess people playing the Dragoon build. It's actually pretty good. It's Destroy Labyrinth and some other decks as well. But, um, yeah. And your boy, Cyberpunk92 is signing out. Peace.